what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this set of aura nails with an angel wing piercing this set was inspired by misfit nails on instagram i thought it was a really cute look and i wanted to try it out i don't have an airbrush gun but i'm going to be creating that look with what i have um, she has a lot of really cute nails on her page. I got inspired by her French and animal print design in my um, To Be Glam video with the neon gel polishes. Um, yeah, she has a lot of cute looks. So if you guys want to check out her page, I'll leave her Instagram handle in the description box. Um, I get inspired by like a lot of the people that I follow. I like to follow people who do like things that I haven't really seen before. So yeah, we're just going to be jumping into the tutorial. For this set, I'm going to be using stuff I already have. Um, I did dehydrate my nails and prep them off camera and I went in with two coats of Mia Secret Primer and I'm going in with a layer of base gel on my natural nails. Um, since I'm doing a poly gel set, um, you want to apply a base gel so that gel has something to grip onto. But yeah, I've been seeing these like angel number sets and I thought they were really cute with like all the different colors and stuff like that. So I wanted to try it out. Um, obviously, I don't have an airbrush gun, so you can kind of get that look like by using a sponge or whatever. It's not like exactly like it, but pretty close. So for the base on all the nails, I'm going to be doing a marble. I'm using two different whites from McCart. I'm using bright white and then this color from their Eber Rouge kit. It's like a pearly um, glittery white and the number 13712 and I'm applying a big bead of each color onto the nails since I'm building the nails up with these colors. I don't want to have to go back in with a second layer. Um, so I'm applying one big bead of each color on the nail and mixing it with the other end of my poly gel brush. Nothing too crazy and then just kind of patting it in place. When I pat it in place, I'm focusing a lot of the poly gel up by the nail bed area to build my apex and the rest of it I just pat side to side down the nail and I kind of use my brush to smooth the whole nail out before I cure. I will be flash curing so that I don't mess the nails up and I'm removing like any excess with the other end of my poly gel brush. This is just a brush that I got from one of the McCart poly gel kits. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that the nails are as smooth as possible. It just helps when you go to like file and everything like that. So I'm just going to be doing the same thing for the rest of the nails. I'm making sure to add enough poly gel to all the nails to um, build up the structure so I don't have to go back in and like add more because um, it can kind of like cover up what you've previously done if you're doing like a marble. I mean you can go back in and add more but I would just prefer to add it all at once. It's kind of satisfying to see the poly gel go from like a big blob to into like the shape of a nail. Um, but yeah, I do use a little bit of base gel if the poly gel gets like too stiff or anything like that. That's a little trick. The base gel will like soften it so that you can apply it to the nail like a lot easier. And the reason why I'm mixing the two colors together is because I really wanted like an angelic look. Um, so I think like the hints of glitter in the background really gives that kind of look if you know what I mean.
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and file the nails. I did cleanse the tacky layer off with some isopropyl alcohol. By the way, I'm sorry if you could hear my computer fan. It's like super loud and it won't shut off. It's like really irking me, but I don't know. For some reason, it's not like turning off, but yeah, try to ignore that. But anyways, I'm going to start by debulking the nails. The base on the nails was really easy and simple. I'm doing like most of the nail art on top um so right now i'm just kind of like going over the nails really quick i really didn't have a lot of filing to do i just kind of had to smooth over the nails with my drill bit and then just go in and shape them up really quick um so i'm using my nice full two-in-one um, portable e-file in lamp and i'm just like um smoothing over the nail going around the cuticles smoothing side to side all the way down the nail filing along the side walls um, filing underneath the nail and I'm also like taking in the sides of the nail like with my drill to redefine the shape of the nails. Now I'm going to go in and shape up the nails with my hand file. This is why I say file along the sides um, with your drill first because then when you go in with your hand file it's a lot faster to shape up your nails. So I'm doing a long tapered square and I'm taking off the bulk on the sides of the nail right now. Um, so I'm filing straight and filing up the sides until I'm satisfied with the width of the nail and then I angle my file in and file in towards the tip of the nail um to like kind of taper in the tip and then to file the free edge of the nail i hold my file at an angle and file straight across just keep your file straight no matter what you're doing um i also even take my hand file and file right underneath the nail to get out like anything stuck under the nail like extra plastic from the nail tip or whatever um, and before i buff the nails i'm actually going to go in and make the little hole for the piercing
So this is the drill bit that I'm going to be using to make the hole for the piercing. You want to use a really pointy one so that you can drill right through the nail. These drill bits usually come with like every nail drill. It's just like one of those standard like needle drill bits. Um, so I'm putting my drill on a pretty high speed. It's on like um, 20,000 RPMs and I'm just going to drill straight through like a little hole and you want to make sure you drill through the other side too to get out any like extra like parts from the nail that might be stuck in there. Um, but you don't want to move your hand at all. Just drill straight through. Otherwise the hole will expand and it will be like a hot mess. Um, and now I'm just going to buff over the nails to smooth out the scratches. All right, so now I'm gonna be adding the color to the center of all the nails. Um, I'm kind of creating that airbrush look, but with my sponge, you kind of get the same effect. It just takes a little bit of dabbing back and forth to kind of get that look. Um, and I do recommend using thick gel polishes to do this because you get more color payoff and you wanna use darker or like more neon shades so that you can see the color better once you put it on the nail. Now the color is supposed to be like really subtle so you don't wanna make it like too neon otherwise it will look like really harsh. Um, the point is so that it looks like really light and subtle in the background um, if that makes sense. So I'm using a sponge and I'm just dabbing back and forth in the middle of all of the nails. And then I'm taking the other end of the sponge and kind of like dabbing out the edges at the top and the bottom to kind of create like a gradient. It doesn't really have to be too neat because once you add the numbers, the stickers and the top coat and everything, everything's gonna look nice and like blended and it will look like that airbrush look if you know what I mean. But as you can see, I'm dabbing out those edges because if you don't, it leaves like a really harsh line and it doesn't really create that airbrush effect. Like I said, you have to keep going back and forth um, and working with it. This is me just removing a little bit of this sticker that I had on my nail. I tried something else off camera and I wasn't really feeling it and I still had um, a little bit of some of the stickers left on my nail. But anyways, um, so I'm using Bright Barbie Pink from Madam Glam for the pink. And then I'm using the shade Brilliant from the To Be Glam um, Neon Vivacious um, Gel Polish set. It's a really nice neon purple. Um, the green that I'm using is from Madam Glam um, and it's called Green Highlighter and I'm also using a dark blue shade from Madam Glam called Take Me to Mykonos.
Now I'm going to go ahead and start painting the angel numbers onto the nails. The ones that I chose are 777, which means luck, wonderful things are about to happen. We are manifesting this, okay? Um, and then I also chose 111, which means your intuition. Trust your gut and listen to your heart, um, which I should do more often. Half the time I'll have a gut feeling about something and I should have listened to it. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever felt that way, but yeah, if you ever get that gut feeling, always listen to it because half the time you're right. Like it's your intuition telling you like not to do something or to do something. So yeah, definitely listen to it. Um, it's pretty easy to draw these numbers. I'm not doing any special font or anything like that. I'm using um, this pink brush from that new Savalan brush set that I recently reviewed. Um, and I'm using the tip of my brush to help me draw my lines a little bit better. Um, and I just use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to clean up my lines if I have to. And I will be tracing over the numbers just one more time. I'm using the McCart Gel Polish in the shade Belonk, by the way. And now I'm gonna go in and add these little four point star stickers to my nails. It just adds something to the nails, I feel like, and really gives that kind of like aura type of vibe to the nails. So yeah, I'm just sticking them right on. I'm using these really like pointy tweezers to pick them up. Um, I will link these in my Amazon store if you guys are interested in them, um, but just peel them back slowly and make sure you smooth them out on the nail so they're flat and not um, like sticking up because they will like come through the top coat they need to be flat on your nails but yeah I feel like they go really good like it almost looks like I painted them on there but I really didn't To finish up, I'm going to apply some McCart rhinestone gel to all of the nails and just brush it right over and then go over that with some McCart top gel. This is what I use to apply my bling and it stays on really good. So I'm using like some neon rhinestones that I have and I'm matching them up with the colors on the nail. I'm applying two stones on each nail. So I'm using pink on the pointer finger. Um, purple on the middle, green on the ring, and blue on the pinky. And sorry if you could hear the thunder in the background. It's like, what is going on between the computer fan and the thunder? It's like somebody in the universe just does not want me to make this video, but I'm still gonna make my video. Whether whoever you are in this universe that does not want me to make the video, just stop because I'm gonna do it either way, okay? I just wanna put a blessing on you. This our last undressing session. I'm not really sure if you've been checking. I'm progressing. I just heard my songs is popping out in Macedonia and even Serbia. I don't mean to burden you. If
if you got a man since then, I understand. Last thing I want to do is get you jammed. Especially if he's the fan. He probably never want to hear my shit again. And I need every single sound scan. But if you single and you down, then I'm in your town feeling for another round. I was counting down the days. Been more patient than a brown fan. Where that chip at? Probably on your shoulder because I forgot to hit back. Left you on red. Apologies are said. But often never meant. Well, fuck that I repent. For message never sent now. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. By the way, just got in town, and I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky ruin my vibe. And as you can see, um, I'm adding the piercing through the hole right now. I had to change the jump ring. I got these little gold ones from Walmart. They're actually bigger. The one that comes with it was too small, um, so I switched it. This little charm is actually from Michaels. I got this a long time ago. I don't even know if they still have it. Um, but yeah, you just want to make sure you squeeze it together. I'm just using a little bit of a cuticle nipper to squeeze it together and this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave me a like or a comment it is free if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe before you leave because i post nail tutorials and reviews every week so you don't want to miss out and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok i'll see you guys in my next one bye love you guys